Mom, come on. I want to go to school today. We're supposed to be, we have a test. Come on, Mom. I have to go to school today. We have two tests. Sweetie, I'm sorry, but you know you have to go to the doctor. Besides, you don't even like school. Why well, I like it now. Honey, listen, I know you don't like to go to the doctors, but you're going to have to go. You know how important it is for your diabetes. I know, Mom, but can't you reschedule? I'll go today, maybe after school. No, you know I have to work tonight. Mom, I'm sorry about Kella, but you're going to have to accept the fact that you're not going to get what you want all the time. That's not what I expect. Where's your sister? Christy, get up. You're going to be late for school. I'm here, Mom. Honey, I woke you up about an hour ago. Did you go back to sleep? I'm sorry. So, Raquel, you have a doctor appointment today? You know I have a doctor appointment. I'd rather go to school than go to the doctor. Raquel, this discussion is over. But mom, so Christy, how'd you sleep last night? Um, fine. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm fine. Christy, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna go to school. My friend's waiting for me. All right. If you don't want to tell me what's wrong, I'm not gonna force you. But you know you're not gonna solve anything if you don't tell me. There's nothing to tell. Bye. Did something happen to your sister last night? No, not that I know of. I could find out for you. You'll do anything to avoid talking about the doctor with you. You know me too well. Well, I gave birth to you. Yeah, I know. I really am worried about your sister. So am I. But what are we going to do? My gosh, what is she? Hey, Julie. Oh my gosh, finally. What took you so long? Um, I don't know. I guess I lost track of time. Are you okay? What makes you think I'm not okay? Christy, I know you almost as well as your parents do. Come on, sit down. Let's talk about it. There's nothing to talk about. Christy, I know there's some thing bothering you, and I'm not going to leave you alone until you tell me. You know, you're worse than my family. I got to get to class. <sighs> no, I hate to say it like this, but I'm glad Mom had an emergency at work. Why are you glad? Well, that means that I had to miss my doctor appointment. I could have gone to school. Well, you'll go back tomorrow. No, I won't. Mom said that she might reschedule it for tomorrow. Reschedule what? My doctor appointment. What do you think? Look, I know you're not in a very good mood, so, but don't take it out on me. Sorry. Hey, guys, I'm home. Hey, Christy. Hi, Christy. Hey, where's Mom? She had to leave for work early. So, Raquel, how was your doctor appointment? It didn't happen, okay? Oh. I thought you hated going to the doctor. I do. Well, then, what are you so mad about? I think the question is, what are you so glum about? I'm not glum. I'm fine, okay? I, um, I'm going to go finish my homework. Christy, what? Are you sure there's nothing wrong? There's nothing wrong. Why don't you guys just leave me alone? Something's bothering her. Yeah. But maybe she needs time alone. I'll give her time alone as soon as she tells me what's wrong. Raquel, listen. If Christy won't tell us what's wrong, it probably means that there's nothing wrong. But there obviously is something wrong. Christy never gets that defensive. She's never this glum. I'm worried about her. Well, I have to admit, I am too. Hey. Hi, Raquel. I thought you were reading your homework. I am. I'm looking some information up for my history assignment. What's up? 
I was going to ask you the same question. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Christy. I wasn't born under a rock. I know something's bothering you. Why won't you just admit it? Because it's stupid. What's stupid? The reason why I'm upset. You wouldn't understand. Well, how do you know that unless you tell me? You really aren't going to leave me alone until I tell you what's bothering me. You're right, I'm not. Mom's worried about you, and I'm sure your friend is worried about you. Yeah, Julie is worried about me. Well, what's bothering you? You're going to think it's completely pathetic. Try me. I had a nightmare last night. You had a nightmare? You never dream. Well, I did last night. Where was I when you woke up? Out like a light? Well, what did you dream about? I dreamt that something happened to Mom on her way to work. In the dream, I came in the house. I was home from school, and I came in the house. I saw Stephanie sitting on the couch. And she said mom was in a terrible accident and that she didn't make it. Wow, that is some dream. Tell me about it. And my nightmare is probably coming true. Why would you say that? Because Stephanie is here instead of mom. That's what happened in my nightmare. That's a total coincidence and you know it. Why do you think you had that dream? I don't know, what are you, a shrink? Hey, you, you decided to tell me. Well, you asked. Look, everyone's worried about you. And you made us worry about you over a dream? Raquel, you don't dream any more than I usually do. So, you, will, you don't understand how I feel. You're right, I don't. But I know you're upset. Everyone's worried about you. You gotta get this dream out of your head. I'm trying. I'm just scared that something's going to happen to mom. Look, if something happened to mom, we would have gotten a call from the morgue or from the hospital. Like hell. Look, I'm sorry, but I think you're making something out of nothing. You're right. I am. At least you admit it. Listen, can you go, Raquel? I got to call Julie. Yeah, maybe Julie could talk some sense to me. Actually, I'm going to call her to apologize for being so nasty to her at school. I didn't even sit with her at lunch. Okay, please don't tell Stephanie or, or Mom about my nightmare. I won't. I'll just tell them you're fine. That you just had a bad day or something. Well, I did have a bad day, so you wouldn't be lying. No. Can you please go now so I can call Julie and talk with her? Yeah. Hello? Uh, hey Julie, it's Christy. Hey! What's up? Listen, I owe you a big apology. About what? I owe you an apology because I was really rude to you at school. But if it makes you feel any better, I was mean to everybody. That doesn't make me feel better. Look, I'm really sorry for how my attitude was today. Yo, yeah, what's bothering you? <sighs> it's kind of stupid, but I'll tell you anyway. Okay, what? I was just upset because I had a nightmare last night. You had a nightmare? Yes. I had a nightmare that something happened to my mother, and I guess it just shook me up. But I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken it out on you. No, you shouldn't have. But I forgive you. You do? Yeah. Thanks, Julie. I'll see you in school tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, Christy would be happy that Mom called. Well, I don't blame her for being happy, but why is she happy? Well, I can answer that. Hey, Christy. Hey, Raquel, can I talk to Stephanie alone? Yeah, sure.
So what's up? First of all, I want to apologize for my mood. Yeah, what's bothering you? If I tell you will you promise not to make fun of me? I promise. The truth is, I was just shooken up because I didn't get much sleep last night. You didn't get much sleep? Why? I had a nightmare last night. The first nightmare I've ever had in my life. Oh. What was the dream about? I, I don't know. It was about something bad happening to mom on the way to work. She got into a car accident and it just scared me. Yeah, I bet. But listen, I'm sure mom's fine. She just gave us a call while you were, were in your room. She gave us a phone call saying that she was going to be home early since she left early. Yeah, but what if something happens to her on her way home from work? In my dream, she died in a car accident. Mom is not going to get into a car accident. In fact, I'm sure... Girls, I'm home. Oh, my gosh. She's home. See, are you relieved now? Oh, I'm totally relieved. Mom, I need to talk to you. Kids. <laughs>